Hello and welcome everyone. I'm Monia Gates. I'm the artist behind Color My Dreams. Nice to see so many of you here tonight. So we're doing Mermaid Marvel's event part 3. And how to color multi-color skin tones Hello part 2. Can everybody see okay and hear me okay? I just wonder before we start and carry on, uh, is there anybody coloring with me so that I know to go a little bit slowly? Okay, so this is what we're working towards and we are still um, busy. This is where we stopped last week because we had load shedding and we were without power for two hours. So I had to stop the stream early, but hopefully we can finish it tonight. Oh, that's fun, Sherry. Glad you could sort it out. Oh, there's lots of people in here. Um, I'm not going to greet. Uh, each and every one of you but welcome and hello to everybody this is where we stopped last week so we're going to carry on from there so we were laying down different colors Welcome. Okay, so the first color I'm going to use is I'm going to start with nectar. So we're just bringing the color down to the neck as well. Hi Ryan, welcome. And here you'll see that I'm adding the nectar in between the shadow and the light area. So the nectar is a PC1092. Uh, 
and I've seen a couple of images um, on my Facebook group and they look gorgeous. Yes, Renee, I, I do. <laughs> I hope I do. I have to check. I have to take any one out. <laughs> Next, I'm going to use light, uh, light aqua. Now here I'm bringing in a little bit of blue because she's got things growing on her like anemones and some corals and things. So I want to turn that into the skin tone. So here we're adding in blue. And it's Light Aqua PC992 that I've just used. Next is Lilac PC956. And here's a Nemini. So here we need to add in our purple. And also down the folds here. And I'm using a light hand, so light pressure. So because I'm quite heavy handed normally, I am holding my pencil further back, taking the pressure off the tip of the pencil. Next color is pink, PC929. Add a little bit of pink here by the nose, on top of the nose, a little bit more here on the forehead. Bring it slightly down, a little bit of pink here, a 
shade it into the purple here. On the ear. <laughs> Welcome back, Abby. Onto the ear. Next is Caledon Green, PC1020. Now I'm accentuating the transition line between the nectar and the underlying color, just softening it because the neck don't really have hard lines. Even though your eye reads it as a hard line, it's still soft. Just your light and darks are more prominent, for example, in this section. Hi, baby boss. Welcome. Soften this highlight here. Soften this color here. I'm so glad you made it. It's nice to have you here. Next is Henna, PC1031. Now we need a little bit of red before we, or red as stone, before we transition into our purples that's on her neck. Hi Tani Rina. Also here on the jawline. A little bit here. Next, I'm going to use Blue Violet Lake, PC1079.
Denn hier bei der Headline A light layer Yeah, at the bottom of the pool, on her ear, the outside of the ear. Now we are slowly going to start to move over to some of the more skin tone colors. Or we're going to start bringing the face more to skin tone colors. First color I'm going to use is beige sienna. Shade in your pinks. But you don't really cover, don't cover all of it, just a light layer. on the nose bridge and bring it down and you'll see in between all these colors that we've added on the face the beige sienna will almost look like a greener tone Christina, welcome. Yes, I'm also surprised to see so many of you here. It's really nice seeing so many. Next is lavender. PC934. A little bit of purple here by the eye. Next is light umber. 
PC941. A light layer here by the eye. Darken this section. Underneath the eye, the little eye bag underneath the eye. Now to shape the nose here at the tip, you need to darken this section here and bring it down, darken the nostril on the side. Then give a light layer right next to the light aqua that you added here to shape the cheek and sh bring it down slightly here by the lips Fan it out a little bit here by the chin. Baby boss, I don't. I don't use an eraser. I only do it when I do hair, when I'm drawing the image. Then sometimes I highlight little strands. You With Prismas, you can go lighter and darker. You can manipulate your color. So that's what's making the Prismas a very forgiving pencil for teaching. Because if something is too dark, then you can lighten it easily. And, 
and you can fix any mistake really Oh, thank you so much. Now I'm darkening underneath the jawline a little bit. <laughs> She's got similar lips, but her name is Anastasia, the model that I used a photo of. It's one of my patrons, Natalia, is a fashion photographer and it's one of her photographs that I've used. Um, you can see in the description, the model is credited there. And she takes amazing photographs. And I'm busy drawing a male. Also one of her photographs. He's going to be a merman. So that's one for the ladies. Now here at the top by the lips. Bring your shadow down and darken the side. And don't worry, we'll still soften the shadows. It's just so that you can get your shaping right. Oh, I must still watch that movie, Selena. Yes, then you can have a merman, Renee. And he's quite a hottie. And here on the upper lip.
wonderful, Janine. I can't wait to see. I still have to name him, though. He's got a name. But I've, and I've drawn him so far, the model. But I must still turn him into a merman or a Neptune or something. Next is light green, and we're just going to soften this gray green light in this ach, light umber in this corner here and here by the nose. Yes, you must post it there so we can see, Janine. Light green here on just above the high, or just below the highlight. Go over this highlight here by the nose. Carry it onto the light umber. I can't wait to see some of the sunsets that we've done today on Patreon. That sunset backgrounds. Also here on the chin. Just shape it a little. Next is salmon pink and cover this whole section, soften the purple. And blend your colors in here. I think let's do a page giveaway. Choose a number between 1 and 100. You can win a page from my Etsy store. And we are having a sale at the moment. 50% off. Or I am. Um, so go and have a look. And you can win a page from my Etsy store. And if you want more in-depth tutorials with lots of reasons why I uh, choose things, reasoning behind it, and techniques, and more in-depth color choices, textures, color theories, anything to do with that, join my patron. You can all go now. Choose your numbers between one and a hundred. 
Go, go, go. Still with Salmon Pink. Is all the numbers in? Okay, so let's start. Stop. 31. The lucky number is 31. The closest, not over or under, the closest to the number is the winner. Abby and Mom, please can you check for me? Barbara, congratulations, Barbara. You can peer me or dear me or email me with your choice of paid from my Etsy store and then I can send it to you. Oh, the next color is pink. Just soften the lines here. Bring the pink down. Next, I'm going to use Sap Green Light PC120. Shade it in.
Next is bronze. Soften the nose bridge. Bring it in a little. Shape it. Accentuate these dark shadows. Also accentuate the shape here. Bring it in on the jawline. Just a small gap in between. Darken this corner. Bring it down. You'll see as soon as you add the bronze, it turns down the bright color immediately. And just give another dimension to your shadow area. But once we start um, adding more layers, you'll see that it gives it a little bit more depth to the shadows. Next is mineral orange. The mineral orange on the edge here of the pink and the greener tones. Bring it in here. Go slightly over the bronze here. Over this shadow, extend it onto the lighter color here by the jaw, go over it. Before we carry on, I need light umber. Light Umber is PC941. I'm going to. Ex yeah, we've got the pink and the orange. Now we need a shadow to go up here to shape the cheek. And lightly connected to the purple darker shadow. 
This is just a light layer. Next is pink. Go slightly up. Back to mineral orange. Mineral orange over the pink here. So we're turning it in. Here. Next is seventy percent French grey. Here by the hairline. We want some greys to take away the brightness and colors and to make a shadow more prominent. I normally add greys to the color. Bring it down. Um, the inside shadow here by the ear. Bring it down. Shade this section in. Accentuate it here. Give a prominent shadow below the ear. Next is grey lavender, BC10. It looks like 26. Mom, can you just confirm? Now, here we want to highlight it and bring the highlight down. So we're adding a little bit of light to it so you can see the shadow more prominent. We also want to highlight this section of the ear, soften those dogs that we've added, soften it, also here by the eye. Blend in this highlight. In between these yellows or highlights, I'm just darkening it before we will highlight it again. It's just to dampen the color. Back to mineral orange. 
bring in the warmth and here soften And we're slowly building up the layers. Mineral orange here. Barbara, you can email me or you can PM me or DM me. My Facebook uh, is in the description, but if you want to email me, it is monia.gates1, numeric1, at gmail.com. My Instagram is also in the description or you can email me. Back to Nectar. Go over your um, bronze that we've added here. Over your highlight. Soften the light umber we've had added here. Bring it down. Next is Caledon Green. Caledon Green is 
soften this section go onto this highlight blend it in back to my nectar Next, I'm going to use Blush Pink. Thank you, Abby. She's getting there. Blush Pink is 928. Here by the forehead. Are you all still there? Give a light layer over your highlight. Also here on the forehead, the top. Bring it down the nose bridge. Oh, good. Bring it slightly over. Now extend this upward line, soften the edges and go up, light layer, Next is Salmon Pink, PC101, lighten this section of the nose, also this tip. Next pink. Bring it slightly down onto the shadow. Oh, thank you, Renee. 
Next is lavender. Soften the edge here yeah, of the jaw. Oh, great, Barbara. That's awesome. No problem, Barbara. Next is lilac. So we want a little bit more darker purple here. A little bit more darkness to go down. Then we want And Barbara. BC 1094. And this will tone down the purple, but it is still present. Darken this one upper section of the jawline. Oh, we've got quite a bit of water and water reflection tutorials on my Patreon. And on here we've got this one. I've got the split water. And I think that's it. On my normal YouTube or public YouTube channel with public access. Oh, and I have the turtle one that you have slightly at the top. What type of water tutorial were you looking for? Barbara?
Uh, the ones on Patreon is a little bit more detailed, so I go a little bit slower and it's a little bit more detailed for better understanding. Uh, great Lavender. You just need to highlight the skin here. And a little bit more in depth. Next, I'm going to use Beige Sienna. Yes, you must. We normally have a patron stream just before this one. So, Wednesdays are action-packed, full of tutorials. So, for example, tonight we did, let me just quickly zoom out a bit to show you. We did this one that we did in public stream, but we did the background. Oh, sorry, out, not in. Sorry, I'm just waiting for the camera so that I can see better. So we did the sunset and how to manipulate color and things like that to suit your um, image. No, Sherry, it's all pencil. <laughs> uh, next is pink again. We need to just darken this corner here. Hi, a view is a view. Welcome. Oh, Sherry, yes. I think later this year I will do some watercolor. I must first just get some of my watercolor stuff out. I haven't used it for ages and just checked it first. Uh, next is henna. I just want to darken it slightly. Over in this corner. Oh, gouache paint. Next pink, shade it in.
Barbara, this background was for rhino and elephants, so it will be rhino tier, I would say. You get quite a bit on rhino. Gouache paint is a water based, but it's like water paint, but it's in a tube. Sandbar brown? It's a type of paint. Janine? Yeah, you can handle it like water, water paint, watercolor paints. Next is page Sina again. Soften. Then, oh, I'm too far away. Yes, Sherry, you're quite right. It is half acrylic and half watercolour. I think it is as well. Next is eggshell. I have to check. But I do know I have gouache paints. <laughs> I don't know in what state my watercolors is. So I'll have, that's why I say I have to check first. Next, pumpkin orange. And we want it a little bit more intense in color here. So I'm adding pumpkin orange. And a little bit here. Back to eggshell. And this is with a light hand. Accentuate this highlight again. Soften this one. Extend it down. Y'all yeah, have to think about how I would do those uh, gouache and watercolor classes so that it can benefit everyone first, firstly. Because not everybody have that and not everybody is interested. We will have to run a poll to see whether they would like it.
because with watercolors backgrounds are much easier but then you have to print on watercolor paper for example if you want to use lots of detailed pencil work then you have to print on a hot pressed watercolor paper for example which the texture is smooth enough for you to use your pencils next is pink Back to eggshell. And that's just one of the examples. Next we're going to use 50% French Grey, PC1072. So this is a lighter grey, just to shape. And get the shape right. Then eggshell again. Yes, it was eggshell. And I'm blending it in. Oh, I think it's time for another page giveaway. Next is cloud blue. And now we're lightening the side. So you all know what to do. You can choose your numbers between one and a hundred. You can all go now. Next is light green. Hi Diane, welcome. Christina, I'm giving away a page from my Etsy store. You can choose any page there. Um, if I we draw the numbers now. And I am currently running a sale. 50% off. Next is Artichoke PC1089. So you can all go and check it out. 
so now we're really getting some greens going Next is mineral orange again, softening it, bring it up. down back to 50% fringe grey a little bit here Is all the numbers in? Choose your numbers. Choose your numbers. It's all. It's still open. Choose your number. Next is colored and green. and soften the lines. Next is pale sage. And we soften this whole section here with pale sage. And you'll see at this stage that the holes is almost closing. And that's always a good sign. Hi Linda, welcome. Okay, so let's start. And stop. 96. Mom and Abby, can you maybe help me just check who's the closest? Not over or under, just plain straightforward the closest to the number. Next is mineral orange. Uh, 
and we bring some brightness Hi, Alison. Welcome. Congratulations, Bia. You're the winner. You can go to my Etsy store and you can choose any page there that you like. And then you can DM me or PM me or email me. And I can send it to you. Next is Hena. Thank you, Renee. Yes. Renee is going to set up now after the stream please head over to her channel go and join her she's a, a my coloring corner with Renee wonderful channel you must go and check it out Bye, Renee. You're welcome, Renee. Next is a light umber. Just lightly blend it a little in here. Then chocolate.
Barbara, the pirate is free in my coloring group, Color My Dreams. It's a free page there. So if you join Color My Dreams, you go to files and you can get the pirate from there. Hmm. Let's go. Lilac. Then pink. Just get the tone right here. Soften it. Then beige sienna. Soften this highlight. Yes, Barbara, don't worry about it. I won't change it. This is chestnut. Then artichoke. Then nectar. Yes, like a really browny color, I think. We'll have to wait and see. Seventy percent French grey. Now these little shutters in certain areas that we're doing now will start shaping the nose and the face. So these little ch little changes that we're doing are quite important at this stage. Oops. I'm just going to take great lavender and just cover that there. It's a bit too much and then eggshell bye Barbara Thank you for being here. I really appreciate it. Next is Blue Violet Lake.
shade in this shadow Fifty per cent French grey, And seventy per cent French grey. Then badge Sena. And lights in here. Let's take great lavender. Eggshell Next is blush pink and soften the lines. Yes, it's always on a Wednesday, Barbara, two hours before this one starts. Next is pink rose.
Oopsie. Next is mineral orange. Need to warm it up a bit here again before we lighten it again. Then salmon pink. So you'll see that you have much less holes. So it's almost there. As soon as it starts to smooth out, you do your details and then you have the perfect color tones in the areas that you need. So we're getting there, we're almost there. Robin, welcome. Next is henna. We want that slight ready turn under the eyes. Then I want dark umber. More henna. Oh, this is the wrong one. Yes, henna. And shade it in. Then fifty percent. Uh, French grey Then back to light umber.
But we're glad to see you here now, Robin. Um, the next is Nectar. Then Pink. And bring the pink up. Pink. Then take your fifty percent French grey. Then extend the shadow here lightly and also here. Then light blue or cloud blue. Soften it, the 50% French grey. Bye, Sherry. Thank you for being here. I really appreciate it. Then light umber. Then a little bit of nectar just below the nose and eggshell and soften that line, the eggshell. Then accentuate the lip line. Back to light umber. Blend onto the, the eggshell here. Soften with the eggshell, then take a little bit of beige sienna and blend. Bring the shadow line down. Then highlight this corner of the mouth. Take the 50% French grey and bring it down.
then take the batch zena and cover this section so you soften the highlight then we rework it this with eggshell eggshell first and then grey green light and highlight just the top section of this highlight widen it towards the bottom and a little bit here well I think that's it for tonight we can carry on next week Thank you, Mom and Abby, for being my mods. Thank you to each and every one that came out tonight to watch the stream. We are getting there. There's not a lot of work to be done to the face and the neck. Then I will move over to the pool or the eyes and the lips and the eyebrows and see how it goes do the pulls. So this we finish the skin, do the eyes, the mouth and the eyebrows and do pulls. So this is what we are working towards. We are getting there. Oh, you're welcome, Bia. Oh, thank you. thank you, Diane. I, sorry, I didn't even see you. Thank you, Mom and Abby, for being the mods. Thank you to each and every one. I really appreciate that you came out to watch the stream. Stay safe and bye-bye. See you all next week. There will be a patron and a public stream next week again. Bye-bye for now. Bye-bye for now. And remember to go and check out My Coloring Corner with Renee. She's on right now. Oh, she's probably starting now. If you want to carry on with more watching more streams wonderful channel